Okay, hello everyone. I hope all of you are safe and sound at home. I'm sure you are, I don't hope. And welcome to our Monday night 4 hour training. I don't know about you, but I was very busy the whole day because, you know, a lot of things are happening in Ruby Cell and there's just so much going on, you know, so many changes we're going through. And it's a good thing that we're going through these changes because when we go through these changes, uh, we grow, you know, we grow, we're, we're moving with the times and we're helping people help themselves even during this time of lockdown. And it's so important for us to, uh, to, be, to be, you know, to be uh, aware of what are the changes that are going through, how we're going to adapt to the situation of the world, and how are we going to prepare ourselves for the months to come in the future. The world is not the same now compared to what it was three weeks ago. It's not going to be the same. Everyone has been affected by the coronavirus. Countries are locking down their borders. Airlines are not flying their plane. Uh, can you hear me? Someone talking about my, ma my mic? Is it better now? I think it's better now. Yeah. No? Oh, it was okay just now. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What's wrong? Is, is everything okay? Let me check my mic. Ah, oh. is it better now? Is it better now? Huh. Really? Give me one second. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so am I am I better now? Much better now? Yeah, is it okay now? I did some testing. I think I sound okay. You guys gotta give me some feedback here. Am I okay? Am I okay now? Yep, all good. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, okay, I won't get so excited. I won't get too close to you guys, okay? I'll stay my distance, social distancing, even on Zoom. Okay, understood. Okay, so uh, as I said, uh, you know, everyone's life has changed. Um, everything has changed in our lives as far as, uh, uh, as, far as uh, you know, our, our whole life is concerned. Uh, for some people, the, life, the changes have been very drastic. The changes have been very drastic. For other people, um, you know, they're very busy doing what they do. Uh, for us at Ruby Cell, uh, we're going through a lot of changes as well. You know, where where we got a lot of things to prepare, a lot of products to prepare, um, a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, system things to prepare. And today, the title of today is. How to build your name list online without getting rejected, okay? Yeah, uh, how, how, to, how to build your name list online without getting rejected, okay? So Ruby Cell online strategy. And uh, you know, this is uh, the reason why we're doing this is because a lot of people are wondering how they're going to do their Ruby Cell business now that we're in a lockdown. And uh, we've been doing a lot of training and we've been trying to come up with a new system to do this. And this is the new system that we've, we're basically uh, rolling out. And so 
you know, this is a, uh, uh, you know, let's just get right to it. You know, how to build your name list online, okay? Now, the first thing we need to realize is that I can reach people online. So many people have been meeting other people online. I don't know how many of you uh, uh, watched that movie, um, You've Got Mail, with uh, Tom Hanks, and I think it's uh, Tom Hanks and, uh, what is her name? Meg Ryan. Yeah, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. It's a very old movie about how two people meet uh, with, with email. It's a very old movie. And people have been getting married, people have been making friends, you know, doing all sorts of things online for many, many years. So it's actually not something new for us to approach people online, to have a personality online, and to have a character online. The only thing is that we're so used to uh, meeting people physically, such that uh, you know we, we take care of ourselves physically, but uh, there's no there's not much of a, a presence online. So the first thing we need to understand, guys, is that we need to have this mindset that we can meet people online, we can approach people online, and it's very easy for us to do that. Okay. Now, when we meet people uh, offline, when we meet people face to face. There are certain rules that we follow because we, especially when we meet people for the first time, like when we meet a, a, a stranger for the first time, there's a certain way we talk. Uh, there are certain conversations you talk about, meaning there are certain conversations you don't talk about. And there are certain um, etiquettes and manners that you keep with. And actually it's the same online. When we approach people online, when we do our Ruby Cell business online, there is also a certain way of doing it. And there is also a certain skill that you need to learn. Like when we meet people face to face, there's a certain communication skill that you need to learn. There is a certain technological skill that you need to learn. Like for example, how to eat, how to chew. All these things are very important. Even just now I was talking to you guys and you guys commented about the mic. And so all these things are very important for you to consider when you're doing online. Now, I don't want you to think that this is so difficult. Okay, it's actually not difficult at all. It's just that you're not used to it. It's a new skill. And trust me, I, I was not born with the skill of talking to the camera. I also had to learn this ability of talking to the camera and learning how to engage with you guys through the camera. And so it's very important for us to understand that it's a skill. Anyone can learn the skill. And at this day and age, if you want to run any business, any business, you have to learn the skill of meeting people online. Okay. And it's no different to Ruby cell as well. And so there are, uh, I'm going to show you very simple things, very simple things that you should be doing to improve your chances of meeting new people online. Okay, sounds a bit like dating advice, you know, how to meet people online. But, uh, you know, for, for, for our purpose, we're actually going to be talking about how to help people with our product and with our opportunity. Okay, and so, uh, you know, the first thing, there, there, are, there are three steps to this process, okay? There are three steps, okay? So I'm gonna detail down the three steps, okay? So the first step is called snap, spray, share. For those of you who have been to our training previously, we called it snap, spray, talk, okay? And you notice that the snap and the spray part is the same, but the last part, we have changed it from talk to share. And that's important because in social media, you're not necessarily talking to people all the time. You're actually sharing your post, sharing your video, uh, sharing your, your, what you're doing, you know? And so it's more about sharing consistently rather than talking consistently. That means if there is a art of talking, there is also an art in sharing. So the first thing we need to do is understand that in Ruby Cell, the first step is to snap, spray, talk, okay? So snap. Previously, when we do snap, 
we snap other people to look at their before and after photo. But this snap is talking about you, okay? It's talking about taking a photo of yourself and keeping a record of a before and after, okay? And when you do that and you share it with other people, what happens is you build a relationship with other people. Now remember, even before you share this, and this is a tip here, even before you share with other people your before and after photo, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And you should be sharing not about your before and after first, but share about who you are as a person, what do you do every day, and why are you so passionate about this, uh, about, about the things that you do? So why are you passionate about Ruby Cell or helping other people help themselves? Okay. For me, I always share with people about motivation, about uh, how people should take their life to the next level. And it's so important for us to build that online profile and have a relationship with people. So, so the mindset is like this. The mindset is, I'm meeting people for the first time online. What would I do? What would I say? What are the informations that I would share about myself to strangers if I met them face to face? And you would do the same thing online, okay? And so you would share with them, you know, what your, what your job is, uh, where you live, all this kind of thing. And you will introduce people bits and pieces about you, okay? The moment you talk about product too much, you become a salesman and you're not sharing anymore. You're selling, okay? You're not sharing, you're selling. And we want to share, okay? So the first thing, the first step to this is uh, to keep a record of your before and after photo. So that's snap. Spray. This is no different on whether you're meeting people online or offline. So when you're actually, after you took a photo of yourself, you should spray yourself and get results, okay? And when you get those results, then you should be sharing those results online, okay? And normally, we do this uh, on Facebook or on Instagram. Some people use LinkedIn, some people use WhatsApp story. And uh, I wanna share with, I wanna, I wanna let you guys know that, you know, uh, for those of you, for those of you who are in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, you know, you're used to Facebook, you're used to Instagram, you know what I'm talking about, that's good for you. But I'm talking to those people who have never had a Facebook account before, and I'm talking about those people who have never had an Instagram account before, or you still don't have one right now, it's completely fine, okay? Uh, we have people who have just started their social media uh, like, like a week ago, okay? and. The important thing I want you guys to understand is this last point. For things to change, I have to change. And the change that you need to go through right now is that you need to have an online profile, okay? And this is a necessary, if it was an option before, now it's a necessary thing you need, especially if you want to do any business in this day and age, okay? So the first step really is for you to understand that you need to have a step-by-step -step process on how you plan on sharing with other people, okay? And so the first thing is keep a record of before and after. And at this, in this portion, I do want to mention that you should have an online profile. And so share, don't just share about product, but share about your daily life, about your dog or about your cat, about who you are the things that you would share with other people for other people to get to know who you are. And, 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 and in there, you will also share about keeping a record on what you look like before, and then you spray to get results, and then you share the results that you get. Now, if you, might, you might be saying, oh, you know, I only use my social media to look at other people's things. I've never shared before, and I don't know how to do it. It's okay. It's a skill. Do it first, okay? There's a first for everybody, and there was a first for me. So just do it first, 
Try first. I know so many people. Guys, you're not the only one. In Ruby Cell, there are people who started their Facebook last week. I'm telling you, and they're doing a fantastic job. Were they great the first time? No, they were not. No one's great the first time. But uh, the good thing is that the first time you do it is the worst time you do it because you're only going to get better. So just because you haven't done this before, don't be discouraged by that. Okay, it's just something that you have to learn and it's something that you just have to change in order for you to go to the next level in your life. So don't be discouraged that you haven't done it before. Don't be discouraged that you don't have a Facebook Instagram account. I strongly encourage you to do it. Now, uh, some of you might also be thinking, oh, but uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm boring. I'm not interesting. Uh, I have nothing to share about. Well, for those people who are thinking like that, let me tell you that no one is the same in the world. That means you are unique. If you are unique, you have something no one else has which you can share. Someone in the world will find you interesting, okay? Don't let anybody tell you, don't let yourself tell you that you are boring and you have nothing to share. You are interesting, you are unique. There is something special that only you can give to people. So. Don't try to make up things to share online. Just share who you are. If people don't like you, ignore them. Don't worry about them, okay? They're not important. You're looking for those people who other people can relate with you and they like those things about you, the uniqueness about you, okay? Even I had that, that issue before, like I'm, what, th there's nothing special about me. I'm just a guy, I do my work, I, you know, I have my hobbies and all that. But I've, I've come to realize that, you know, certain things about my life, like, uh, you know, I always, um, it's, I'm always a very positive guy. I'm always a ball of positivity, even though I might think of negative things and I get worried sometimes, but I never share that. I always talk about the opposite of what I think, especially when I'm thinking negative things. And uh, I thought that was normal and I thought that's what I do, uh, but, uh, oh. Uh, should be okay. They should be able to come in. Yeah, there's no problem with the, with the, with the group. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for things to change, you have to change. So don't get discouraged uh, just because you don't have an online, uh, an online profile. Okay. So just let me let me just ch check one thing. Okay, so you've already built a Facebook account, you've already built an Instagram account, and you've already gone through the process of taking a photo of yourself before and building your personality online. And you also took a photo after you got results, you sprayed, and then you got results afterwards. Okay, so after you have your before and after photo, you need to go to step two which is build a name list, okay? So now that you have yourself packaged, you need to build a name list. Now, normally when we do this offline, what do we do? We normally ask you, uh, list down 100 people that you know, right? List down 100 people that you know. And, uh, you know, uh, we usually go through our phone book, through our WhatsApp or whatever, and we list down the number of people that we know. Uh, but in, on social media, uh, the, the wonderful thing is you know the people who are interested in what you do. How do you know that? By the likes and the comments and the shares that you get. The people that like and comment your posts are already in your name list, okay? And if they might not be interested in what you're doing, but maybe they know someone who might be interested in what you're doing. So if you share and you keep on sharing, and the people around you keep liking and commenting and sharing your stuff, then you will automatically know based on the number of, based on the people who like and comment your, 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 your stuff, uh, who are potential suspects who you will be able to approach, okay? But you might be wondering, hey, Joe, I, I don't even have a Facebook. Even I've been posting things online but 
I don't have any likes. I don't have any comments. Zero comments. Zero like. Okay. What do I do? Well, uh, I was exactly the same. I didn't have zero likes. I think I had like 10 or 12 and they were all like my friends and things like that. And I found out that actually, if you want more likes and you want more comments and you want more shares, you need to like other people's stuff too. You need to comment on other people's stuff too. Okay. You need to engage and build rapport online. In the beginning, no one knows who you are online. Offline, maybe people know you, but online, no one knows you. So you need to take the time to like other people's stuff, comment on other people's stuff, and for other people to start noticing you. And it's not a one day thing, guys. It's something that you do on a daily basis. It's something that you, like, you know, every day we meet people, right? So every day we got to meet people online. We got to engage with people online. We got to like people online. We got to comment on the other people's stuff online. And it's got to become a habit of liking, commenting, and sharing other people's things online. And you, you, it's very simple, guys. Don't make it complicated. It's very simple. You go, you go online, you look at people who, you, the, the, the best way is who are the people that you do want to recruit? Like their stuff, comment on their posts, share their posts, okay, if it's relevant. And but the, the important thing is like and comment, okay? When you like and comment other people's stuff, the chance of them checking your stuff out is also very high. So you gotta make sure that you make it a daily ritual to spend time to like and comment on other people's posts. You got to be engaging in other people's posts. You got to be active online, okay? So if you give enough people what they want, you will get everything you want. Everyone wants likes and comments on their social media. So if you want a like, you got to give a like first. If you want a comment, you got to give a comment first. The more you give, the more you get. You know, givers gain. This is what uh, BNI likes to say a lot. And so uh, make sure that in order to, for you to build, in order to build your name list online, look at the people that are liking and comment on your posts. If you need more likes and comments, like and comment more of other people's posts. Okay, simple, clear, very good. Now, the final step is this, find someone to help, okay? And once you've built your profile, okay, which is step one, and then you have uh, liked and commented on enough people and you're getting likes and comments and you're talking to people online and you know, you've got a bunch of people which you're engaging with, you need to start narrowing down and focusing on people you really want to approach. And the question you're really asking when you narrow down on these people is, who can I help? Whose problem can I solve? It's not, who can I sell to, okay? I know it's difficult and I also had the same challenge, but we really need to ask ourselves, who are the people in my likes and comments who I can really help? Whether it's about becoming 10 years younger using RubyCell or using the RubyCell business model to make money, okay? So we need to find out who are the people in our likes and comments, in our name list, who we can really help, okay? And so in order for us to do this in a very smooth way, how we do that is we got to fact find others on social media. Now, the wonderful thing about social media is that you can find out about the other person before you talk to them. So you can, you know, have this conversation with other people and you, you, you have a rough idea on what they do, what they're interested in, you know? So, uh, and, and the less active they are on social media, obviously the less information they will have. So if that's the case, then you probably need to ask them more questions. But you know, when we do prospecting uh, physically face-to-face, -face, it's the same thing. We need to approach other people and we need to do fact-finding first. We need to know who they are. We need to know what work they do. We need to know what are their concerns in life. We need to know, are they happy with the work that they're doing? Uh, do, they do, do they want to look 10 years younger? Are they looking for an opportunity? So these are a lot of questions that we want to ask. Now, you're probably wondering, 
I don't know what questions to ask. You know, there's so many questions I can ask. Well, you're very lucky because we actually already have some list of questions that you can ask. Um, uh, I think in the next one or two days, Wang Kuan is going to share with you the list of questions you can ask and which, that, which angle you can approach them. And we're gonna share that with you guys as part of the Ruby Cell membership. So wonderful to be a part of a Ruby Cell member. And so we're gonna share that with you guys on how to ask questions to get the response that you want and how you're going to focus on the person that you can help for those people on your name list, which you got from your likes and comments, from the posts that you did, from the transformations that you got. Do you see the, do you see the steps where, where it's going? Good. So, when you approach other people, you're clarifying whether this is your prospect or not. You're wondering whether you can help this person or not. You're wondering whether this person really needs RubyCell, whether it's the product or the business or not, okay? And once you've identified that this person is really someone that you want to invite or it's someone that you think you can help them, invite them to a brand day online or do your own presentation, okay? And there's a photo here that I put on uh, our latest Chinese brand day. If you look at our WhatsApp group, you have the schedule in April of all our brand days that are gonna be happening in April. We're gonna continue this for the rest of the year, guys, online. And what that means is there is no lack of you inviting people online to learn more about RubyCell, to learn more about the product and the opportunity. It's both in English and in Chinese. I'm waiting for there to be a Malay one, for someone to be able to conduct a Malay one. And so, you know, if someone can do a Malay one online, please let me know. And, uh, you know, I'll be more than happy to support you to do an online Zoom brand day in Malay so that we can, you know, approach those Malay people also. So, guys, uh, you know, uh, people never leave a sinking ship until they see the light of another ship. If I start approaching people online and I tell people, oh, you're a stewardess. You lost your job recently, right? Oh, are you interested in my opportunity? You want to find out about my opportunity? The chances are, even though they're interested in an opportunity and even though they're having difficulty, uh, then they, they may not be interested in what you're sharing because they don't know how much you care. They don't know that they, they're not convinced. They're not convinced that you're actually there to help them. They may, they're, they're feeling like you're going to sell them something. Okay. So, if you want to overcome that feeling of not selling them something, but you really want to help them, in order for you to do that, you need to convince them that you are listening to them, okay? So we have two ears and one mouth because we need to listen more than we talk. And how do we listen to other people? We need to convince them that we know their situation, we know their background, we know what their problem is, and we're really here to help. And we, just by showing them that you know what they're going through, and by showing them that, you know, by, by relating with them, and by talking to them and sharing their sentiment with them, they'll be convinced. And so they will ask you, like if you ask them what, you, what they do, they'll ask you, what do you do? And then, you know, as soon as you find out more about them, then they will also find out more about you. So the whole point is this, guys. When we go on social media, it's not free advertising. Let me say that again. When you go on Facebook and Instagram or WeChat, it's not free advertising. It's not advertising. It's a person that you're, you, you are a person online. You need to keep the manners and etiquette as though you're meeting them offline, as though you're meeting them face to face. So what would you do when you meet people face to face? You need to do the same thing online. You wouldn't talk about certain things in the first meeting. For example, when you comment on other people's comments, you wouldn't start talking about, oh, you know, oh, you're having financial difficulty. Da, 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 da. You do the whole business presentation in the comment section, you know? <laughs> like, 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 that's not how you do it. You should build a, the relationship, make it into a warm market, and eventually get them to be able to, um, you know, be, be able to relate with you, okay? So, uh, I hope you guys understand that if people 
people don't leave their thinking ship for two reasons. Either they don't know that they're thinking, uh, which is a bit difficult to convince, or the second thing is um, to, it, they, they know they're thinking, but they cannot see your light. And when we talk about light, I'm not just talking about how good RubyCell is and how good MLM is and how good RubyCell compensation, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you, how good you are as a person, okay? Now, you notice that the word friendship, it has the word ship at the end, right? So it's a friendship. People are looking for friends. They're not looking for strangers. People are looking for friendship. They're not looking for salespeople, okay? So we need to achieve that friendship online. We need to practice. Just like how we learned how to make friends when we were at school, we need to go back to school and learn how to make friends online, you know? And it's, it's, you know, it's just that it's online, but the fundamental, the, the, the core of it is still the same. You still need to be respectful. You still need to be considerate. You know, you still need to take care of your image uh, when you go online, especially if you plan on doing business online. Yes. Okay. So this is a summary on how your system is going to work. Okay. This is your on, we call this a funnel. Okay. It's an online funnel and there is you. Okay. And you need to have your story. Okay. Your consistent story. This is the engine of the microphone that you're going to use. And this microphone, okay. You need to have your snap spray share. Okay. So this has to be there first. Okay. And then you got to build your name list and then you got to find someone to help. Once you have this thing going on Facebook and Instagram, okay, then you'll be able to have your voice heard on social media. Okay, so let me say that again, guys. This is your online, this is your microphone. Okay, so in order for your microphone to work, you need to have a consistent my story. You need to have a story to tell, okay? And you need to be able to snap, spray, and share, which is the story that you're gonna talk about. And then you build a name list. And after you build a name list from your likes and comments and shares, then you find someone to help uh, in terms of the product or in terms of the compensation plan. And you do that on Facebook and Instagram. You can also do that on WeChat. It's a skill, guys. And once you know how to learn it, once you know how to do this, even though you talk like this, you'll be having a microphone. So you can talk to so many people but with the same voice, with the same energy. I hope you get that, okay? So uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to the step-by-step -step process. I'm going to share these slides with you guys in the group chat so that you guys can use the slides and you can refer back to what you need to do every day. Uh, I want to make sure that you put these things to action. And I want you guys to answer these questions to yourself so that you can put these things to action, okay? So these are some questions that you need to ask yourself and you need to answer these questions and start doing them based on the answer. Now, the answers are based on what kind of result you want. If you want results fast and big results, obviously you gotta put in more hours. If you don't expect big results now or you don't have the hours now, it's okay. It, the question is how many hours are you willing to put in? Okay, so the first question is, how much time are you going to spend per day on social media? Now, it's not how much, how many times per day you're gonna scroll through Instagram and Facebook and oh, you know, just looking at the stuff that you wanna look at. No, that's not the question, guys. The question is, how much time are you going to spend per day on social media doing your Ruby Cell business, okay? And that time is spent either doing your snap spray share, building your name list, or, um, or help finding someone to help. Okay, one of these three steps. You're doing one of these three steps and you're doing it consistently, you're doing it every day, and you're doing it every day, even if it's only 30 minutes a day, that's better than doing nothing, okay? And so the question is, there is no, you know, if you, again, like for someone, someone a lot of you are doing RubyCell full-time. How many hours do you work full-time? You know, let's say you have zero customers then you should be spending all your time on social media, getting this done as fast as possible, building a nameless as fast as possible, 
liking on people's stuff, commenting on people's stuff, active, making videos, just doing that, you know, full time. For some of you, you already have a big customer base and you need to start selecting who you're gonna approach, how you're gonna approach them, you know? For those of you who are leaders and you have people doing that in your, as your partners, you need to start teaching them how to teach that to other people, how to duplicate that to other people, how to bring their business online, teach to teach, okay? So how much time are you gonna spend per day on social media? You need to answer this question. How many people are you going to like and comment per day? These are really, these are so important. It's so important for you to have these goals so that you are consistent with what you do and you can expect to get a result. What, what I mean by that is this, like you can't expect to approach like three people in a week if you only like three people's comments or you only like three people's uh, posts. You understand what I mean? Like, like you like three people's things and then you approach three people, the same three people, and then you expect those three people to come to an event and you expect those three people to buy. That's unreasonable. It's like 100%. That means every time you meet someone, you have a 100% chance of uh, selling to them. What if they're not interested in Ruby Cell because they don't need it? What if um, they're not who you're looking for, okay? Um, so, 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 so there are so many things that you need to go through. So have a daily, weekly, and monthly goal on how many people are you going to like and how many posts you're going to like and comment on, okay? How many people are you going to approach? So generally, you will spend the most amount of time on social media, and then you will have a bigger number on how many people. So for example, I'm going to spend, uh, let's say, because we're in lockdown, Maybe I'm gonna spend four hours a day on social media, okay? Because I just started my Facebook account last week. Johan told me to do snap spray shares. So I'm gonna do snap spray share. I'm gonna start liking and commenting. I'm gonna spend a good one hour just liking and commenting on people's things. Okay. Then if you spend an hour, so out of the four hours, you spend an hour liking and commenting on people's things. After you keep liking and commenting and sharing things online, you are definitely gonna get someone who approaches you or you are going to approach someone. So after doing that for one week or two weeks, how many people do you want to approach every day? Online, you can approach so many people in a day. And the worst case scenario is that people ignore you. That's the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is people ignore you, okay? So the more people you approach, the more chance of them responding back and the more chance of you presenting to them. So it's not about, and, 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 and it, yeah, you need a good page, you need, you need to share your uniqueness, but you also need to put in the numbers, okay? You can't expect to do it in one day and expect to get prospects tomorrow, okay? This is a, you gotta do it for at least 90 days, 30 days to get started and 90 days to really get good results. But let me tell you something, if you put the time in, you will definitely get your value back, okay? This is way more worth it than watching TV shows on Netflix or Chinese or Korean drama, okay? Trust me, I, 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 watch, I watch TV shows too. Maybe I don't watch Korean drama, but I watch Netflix. And let me tell you that this is so much more worth it, your time during lockdown, even after lockdown. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Just because lockdown finishes, that doesn't mean everyone's going to start meeting each other, okay? Uh, people are going to be very concerned about uh, meeting other people after the lockdown, even though it doesn't get extended on the 10th. So uh, it, 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 when we, we need to be very clear about, we, we can approach so many people online, the worst case scenario is they ignore you. So it's about approaching that people and putting in the numbers so you get the results, okay? The final thing is, how many people are you going to invite to, this pre to a presentation? As I said, if you look in our WhatsApp group right now, you will see that Wang Guan has already shared with you guys the brand days, the BSTs, the 4-hour trainings, the Monday morning motivation. That's happening in April. It's going to continue for the rest of the year and probably for the rest of Ruby Cell history, okay? 
maybe the technology will be more advanced and maybe the platform will improve, but things going online is, is, is definitely going to, uh, is definitely going to move on. Okay. So I don't recommend that you go full blown eight hours tomorrow. You can do that. And some people do very well doing that, but uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you want to wake up, like for example, I know some people, you, know, you guys are like waking up at 11 AM, 1 PM like that. Uh, don't worry. I won't share who you are. But, uh, you know, if you want to start, let's say that we, we don't lock down anymore and we start working day, I mean, you got to start have to wake up earlier, right? And so if you want to wake up earlier, you, you, I mean, there's no choice if you're going to work, but you don't go from 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. immediately, right? 10 a.m., you go to 9 a.m., then you go to 8 a.m., then 8, 8, you know, 7.30. You take your time to pull back to the 5 a.m., okay? And this is something that Charlene was sharing this morning as well. But we got to start somewhere, and build our way to doing our things on social media. So how much time are we gonna spend? How many people are you going to like and comment? How many people are you going to approach? How many people are you gonna to present to? How many people are you going to recruit online? Okay, this is the final question that you need to ask yourself. And at the end of the day, guys, it's about how many people you're gonna recruit online. And if you're asking yourself how many people I'm gonna recruit online, You've already told yourself that you're gonna recruit people online. It's possible to recruit people online. It's possible to do business online. I can do all things. I can do things online. I'm gonna be online, okay? So that's the mindset that you got to put yourself in. That's the thinking that you need to have. And this is the first time, this is the first time that I have ever conducted this training on how to do RubySell online, guys. Until now, for those of you who have been coming to uh, the office for our training, I would be talking about how to do meetings in coffee shops, how to, uh, how to, uh, how to uh, do ABC, how to do SST, snap spray talk, you know, how to spray all these kinds of things. And now we can't do that anymore. And the, and the answer is not to give up and wait. The answer is to take things online. And this is the answer. And, and, and you know, it, it after, this is after uh, looking at how other people have been doing it in RubyCell, and there are so like people like uh, there are some people uh, you guys can you guys can Instagram them okay what I'm about to tell you Jamie Sue Annie Carmen Connie uh, uh, Evely uh, you know all these people even Michelle made a video recently go and look at how they're doing because they're getting results now and. Only one of them were active on social media before Ruby Cell. The rest of them were not active on social media at all. In fact, they were shy, you know, they were not like uh, exciting people. But through social media, they've really transformed their business. And guys, I'm talking to you. You can do this. You're not boring. You have something unique about yourself. Share it with other people. Okay. Uh, you know, I seriously thought that I was boring. I thought that, uh, 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 you know, I, I, there was nothing for me to share. But I realized that that, that positive mindset that I always have, I, and, and I was always like that, you know, I was just born like that. Um, like, even if it's negative things, I always say the positive thing. Um, you know, I, I just, I, because for me, it's a big waste of time if, to talk negative, to think negative. To, I was like that since I was a boy. Can you imagine that? Like, like, you know, I used to tell my mom, like, don't worry, uh, everything's going to be okay. I was like 12 when I said that. So I thought that was normal, but I realized that a lot of people find it difficult to do that. And all I really need to tell them is, don't worry, it's okay. Everything's going to work out. I'm here with you. We'll do this together. And that's what I want to tell you guys now. I want to tell you guys that I have already laid out the steps. You're not the only one doing it. It's very easy. You have something to offer to the world and the world is missing out because they don't know about you. And this, these steps are the ways for you to get a microphone so that you can talk to the world about your story. Okay. So uh, make sure that you go through the three steps. I'm going to share these slides in the group chat uh, so that you can benefit from them. And uh, I'm going to get, uh, uh, that's pretty much it from me. Uh, I want to, is there any questions that you guys have? Um, any questions that you guys have? I will be more than happy to 
uh, answer your questions. Okay. Um, there is quite a few of you here, so uh, you can unmute yourself and ask me the question, or you can ask me in the chat. I'll give you guys uh, maybe five minutes to, to, to think about your question, and you can ask me. Mary, no question? Let me see. Desmond Yo. Hi, Desmond. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Let's, wait, where is guys? Uh, uh, Sue is Sue here? Let me check if Sue is here. Oh, Sue is not here. Annie, can you share? Annie, can you share Sue uh, and your Sue and your Instagram account in the chat, please? Uh, and Carmen, Carmen, can you share your Instagram here, please? And Evely also, can you share your Instagram here, please? Evely. When you said like, comment, and share, for the share, what exactly you are sharing Ruby Cell stuff? This is a very good question. Thank you for asking this question. Okay, the question is this. I can like other people's stuff, I can comment on other people's stuff. But what do I share? Okay, like, like, uh, and the answer is this. Uh, you don't share anything. What you share is, um, like, uh, let's say, let's say uh, I, uh, I want, I want, I want, I want to approach people who are interested to look 10 years younger. Okay. And there's this person I see on, on Facebook, and they're, um, they do uh, at home facial. You understand what I mean by at home facial? They do they do uh, at home spa. They they go to people's houses and they do facial. And so let's say let's say you want to approach this person because you think that this person will be interested in Ruby Cell. You think that this person will be very good uh, as a partner and they need help uh, because you know they it will, it will improve their business. So uh, they will have posts which will be related to the skin. Maybe you can help them promote their services to your people. Okay, so let's say they do nails. Maybe you can get your nail done by her, or you can recommend her service, her nail service, or her eyebrows, or her facial service to your friends. Okay, you share that in your post. Now what happens is you just, you just helped her business. You just, you just bought something from her, or you, 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 you gave first. You understand what I mean? You gave her something first so that you can get something in return from her later, okay? And this is the best way to share. You share something that's theirs and you think that it will also, you really need it and it's something that's beneficial to your group or, you, or yourself. That is what I mean by share, okay? Maybe someone did a post about um, lymphatic node and uh, it's related to the clearing of lymph node and it's the post that they, and they did that post, then you can share it on your, on your Facebook. So you want to share things that are done by other people, which are of value to you or to your network so that you can help them. You're liking and commenting and sharing other people's content to help them first. So that when you help them, they will notice you because you they didn't give you anything to help, to, to help them. So they'll start talking to you, they'll find out what you do and they'll give you a chance, okay? So, uh, that is what I mean by share other people's content or share other people's stuff in your, in your, in your Facebook. Okay. So that is what I mean by share. Does that, does that answer your question? I hope, I hope that that answers your question. Yeah. Okay, while you guys think about your question, let me, um, 
let me uh, let me share it now. Okay. Okay, guys, I just shared it in the group chat. So you can get it from the group chat. Okay, so our desk. So the, the Facebook, Instagrams are there. The chat, the slides are on the on the chat. Um, okay, that's great. No questions. That must have been a good presentation. Okay, if there's no questions, I want to hear from you guys. Okay, I want you guys to. Uh, I want some of you to share with me. Out of here, I saw you recording the call. Can we have the video? Yes. Uh, why don't I put it on uh, YouTube and uh, you can you can you can you can see it on YouTube. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so uh, so uh, actually, what what uh, there, there's one thing that I did. So you did mention something about think whose problem can I solve? Okay, um, how do you start the conversation? Oh, okay. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, the person is working at a pizza shop. Okay, this person works at a pizza shop. She's a lady, and you think she's this person is a uh, very uh, you know very uh, energetic, and you think that this person uh, can do Ruby Cell very well. They've been liking your stuff. They've been commenting on your stuff. And they be engaging with your stuff. So then you you can you can you can messenger them. You know you can you can message them and you can ask them, hey, um, thanks for uh, 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 th thanks for liking and commenting my stuff. Uh, what do you do? Or how do you how do you know me? You know and, and and they might you know you start your conversation like that. And then let's say oh so what do you do? And then they say they work at a pizza shop. Then they say then you say oh you know okay. So um, have you been working at the pizza shop? How long have you been working at the pizza shop for? Four years. Oh, is, is that what you've been wanting to do for, is that your dream job? Is that what you always wanted to do? No, no, I, I, I didn't want to do this, but I have to because I've got to pay the bills. You know, so you got, you got, to, you got to know more about the person and you got to find out uh, how to do that. Now, this, this um, what are the questions that you can ask? How can you approach them? Uh, in the next one or two days, I'm going to release a uh, like a template on how to approach people online. Okay, I'm going to do that for you because I realize that this can be a bit challenging. And so, uh, if you're wondering how to approach people, how to what's the first sort of sentence you tell people? Uh, 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 don't worry, I've already researched everything, and we'll write everything everything down for you, so you can just choose one. And it's categorized into money, into product, into beauty. So just use this template. And then after that, uh, you'll be able to know how to approach other people. But generally, to answer the question generally, don't don't go directly into like 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 get to get to know more about the person. Maybe they shared something that you like, and you message them and say, "Hey, um, I saw your post about um, uh, how to keep your pot clean, and I really like that post. How did you find out? How how did you know? How did you know how to do that post? How did you know how to clean the pot?" You know, like like talk about talk about that particular share that, that 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 post that the person did, and use that as a reference point to then know the person. Okay, so you uh, but but to, in order to know how to start conversation, there's a whole bunch of ways to do that. We will share with you that that template. Okay, I hope that helps. Okay, so uh, someone also asked me how to handle 
the four objections. Uh, now, uh, just to remind you guys, there are four objections. Okay, number one is no trust. Number two is no need. Yes, I'm reading my notes. Number three is no hurry. Number four is no money. There are only four objections people give when you recruit someone, okay? There are, there are four objections. Okay, four, I just looked at uh, Lisa. Hi, Lisa, how are you? I hope you're, I hope you're well, okay? Taking care of yourself. Um, <clears throat> so there are, there are four objections that people give, okay? It's either no trust, no need, no hurry, no money, okay? And so how to handle each objection? No trust, people don't have trust in you because they don't know you enough and they don't know you enough because they don't, you don't have an online presence, okay? If you have enough videos, if you have enough information about who you are online, people will trust you. If you have enough, if, if you have enough information online and people are liking and commenting your stuff and you're active online, people will trust you. The chance of people trusting you when, when, uh, when you post things online, increases. If, if people, if you post things about how Ruby Cell has really transformed you, people will trust that you know that you're, that, that people will trust that you know what you're talking about when it comes to the product. If people want to trust you about how you became financially successful by doing Ruby Cell, then you need to share about that. You need to share about how I was like how, and now I'm like how and you motivate other people, and you need to convince people that you are out to help other people to solve their problem in that same area. So to solve that number one problem, no trust, people don't trust you online, it's because your social media, your, your online profile is not clear enough, it's not deep enough, it's not you enough. Okay, remember, again, don't go make stuff up about you. Okay, like, oh, I uh, you know, do skydiving, I have a pet snake, and no need to do that, okay? You are already unique, you are already good enough, just share about you. I like sewing. I'm obsessed with sewing. I have different types of sewing kits, whatever. And I also like to be beautiful, whatever. You know, like, like there's something unique about you. Just share about you online, okay? In a mannerful, etiquette way, don't be weird. And the trust will definitely increase, especially if you share with other people about how Ruby Cell changed your life, how the product changed your life, and how the company changed your life. Okay, obviously, because you want to convince the people that Ruby Cell was a big part of your life. Okay. Um, no need. Well, this is easy because, you know, at the end of the day, when you're online, you don't know who's going to read your post. You don't know who's going to share your stuff. You don't know who, uh, 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 who you're going to like and comment every day. Okay. So it's not about, uh, you know, it, it, you, 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 the job is not to go online and convince people to do what you do. It's not about convincing. It's about finding people who have an existing problem in beauty or in finance and you want to help them out, okay? If you find a person who needs a beauty solution or a business solution, you already have what they need, okay? But if they tell you that they don't need it, something's wrong with your presentation or they don't convince, or maybe it's another problem. But, but, but don't worry about the no need because as long as you are clear that you're approaching the right person, as long as you know that you are helping that person out, as long as you know that they have a problem with a certain a something which Ruby Cell, uh, uh, with beauty or with money, which Ruby Cell can solve, then you will not, ha not have a no need issue. So, so the, the, the short answer of no need is find the people who need. It's very simple. Find the people who need your, your products and services. Okay, that's why we have the whole approach, talk, like, find out what they do, whether they, you know, like, like you can do that really, really quick. Okay. Um, okay. So, no hurry. Well, for no hurry, right, uh, you need to be able to create that hype online. Okay. Everything is changing and everything is moving fast online. And so, you need to be able to uh, you need to be able to create this, this, this excitement in that, you know, they need to join now uh, rather than later because things are changing, things are going to mature, and now is the time to do it, okay? And you need to 
in order to create this, ver this, this sense of hurriness, uh, this, this is not going to sound that great, but um, this is how you do it. Uh, this is how you do it. Uh, uh, Carnegie, very good. I know what you did there. Very good. Yep. And so this is what you do. Uh, what you do is uh, you, you need to show other people that uh, you have the solution to their problem and uh, it's not their fault and there is something that has been stopping them and you have the solution to it. But the solution is not going to be there for long. Okay, and now we've got promotions happening and we've got incentives happening. And so if you get people to join at a certain time and you tell them that this is only going to last a few days, you know, for example, we have a Chinese brandy that's coming up. It's, it's going to be, be with any, the next one is going to be a, a month away. Join the brandy, you know, and then in the brandy, uh, the person is going to talk about an offer, which is only going to be offered on the day. So, you can create a no hurry by creating incentives, which we always do uh, uh, on that brand day so that people are close on that day. So you can create the hurry part by giving them a special deal, which is what? Special deal is not like giving them like something, it, it, it's about you, know, you spending time with them. You're gonna give them, I'm looking for three people, I already have two, I'm looking for one more. Just one more person. After I find that one person, that's, that's it, you know, I'm not accepting any more students to get to the next level in terms of income. And, uh, you know, I use that a lot. And, uh, you know, just, just create something that's unique that you can only offer for a certain period of time to create that harmonious. No money. Okay, so for the no money part, uh, the reason why people tell you that they have no money is because either they really don't have the money or, they have the money, but they don't think that the value that you give them is higher than the money that they pay. They think that the value is less, okay? Let me say that again. Let's say I spray ruby cell. I, I, buy, I buy the agent set, 4,300 ringgit, and I spray ruby cell. And uh, the reason why I spray ruby cell is because I want to get a new girlfriend. I want a girlfriend, okay? So that's why I bought ruby cell, because I want to get a girlfriend. And uh, let's say I spray ruby cell and after two weeks, uh, I got a girlfriend, okay? So I paid 4,300 ringgit for that and I got a girlfriend. How much is a girlfriend worth to me? Is it more than 4,300 ringgit? Was it worth it? Someone tell me. Do you think it was worth it? I bought the ruby cell because I want a girlfriend. I bought the ruby cell, I got the girlfriend. It was worth it to me or not? Yes, it was worth it. Why? Because getting a girlfriend for me is worth more than 4,300 ringgit, right? So that's why. Let's say, for example, I spray ruby cell because um, uh, I spray ruby cell because I want to look good for my job interviews when I go for a, when I go get a job, or I want a promotion, so I want to look good in my job. So I, I, I you know, so. How much is the promotion worth? Is the promotion worth more than 4,300 ringgit? If the answer is yes, they'll buy. That means they've got the money, okay? That's what it really means. So don't talk about what the product can do for them. That's features and benefits. Talk about what they're gonna get from the result of the product, which is bigger than the price of the product, okay? So what are some examples? I want to go through more examples because I don't want to leave it hanging like that. Online, if people are interested in looking younger, okay, they are looking for three things. Safe, easy, effective. Safe, easy, effective. These are the three things that people usually look for when they buy skincare. So you need to keep talking. If people want to look 10 years younger, they want to make sure it's safe, easy, and effective, okay? Yeah, when I go for a schoolmate gathering and people tell you you look young, yeah, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, that, that is val so much more valuable than, than the 4,300 ringgit that you pay, you know? Let me tell you something. Someone told me, someone gave me an objection by telling me, oh, because of the coronavirus, people are not interested in, their, in beauty. People are more interested in health, okay? Do you know what I told them? I told them, 
uh, I understand what you're saying, but also people will be interested in beauty because you only live once. People are starting to realize how delicate life actually is. They've lived their life holding on to money and not spending anything on themselves. You only live once. If you're gonna live your life, live it to the full. Why should you go through your life looking old and you know looking all bad if you only live once? People are dying from coronavirus just like that, you know? So people, people don't care how much money they have when they're dying. They care about how they live their life, how they, how they spend their time with their loved ones, you know? So actually, there, yes, there are people who will be interested in, in, in health because of the coronavirus, but there are also people who will be interested in ruby cell because they are interested in living their life to the full because they realize that people are going to die so much more easily because of the virus. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it's, about, it's, about, it's, about, it's about making sure that the value looks bigger than the money that they pay to solve the no money problem, okay? If they really don't have the money, if they really don't have the money, they really need Ruby Cell, okay? If they don't have 4,000 ringgit to, to spend on a product that they need, they definitely need Ruby Cell. And for someone like that, you need to sit down with them and discuss how they can raise the money and do the Ruby Cell business. And you assure them that they become successful in the business. And you have to make sure you keep your promise, okay? I mean, for me, uh, I, 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 I have uh, Michelle, Nigel, Irvine, and Sharon. I've shared this story so many times, but I think some of you have never heard it before. Sharon, Irvine, Nigel, and Michelle were not millionaire, Puan Sri, Tan Sri, whatever. They were four very normal people, okay? But I knew they were very special, okay? And I promised them that in Ruby, if they join me in Ruby Cell, I will make them, I'll do whatever it takes to make them successful. And until today, I still keep that, keep that promise. I still keep to that promise to make sure that they are successful, you know, because I knew they were special I knew, and, and, and they also had what they wanted. To. So they didn't have the money, but they found the money to do the business. And now they're all leaders in the company. You know, Kawan is saying, you still your, your, watch your face in lockdown, must take care, you know, or else your partner gonna, yeah. I mean, you gotta take care during lockdown, right? Yeah, even the Malaysian government saying that you gotta look like Doraemon. The last time I checked, Doraemon's got a white skin, so you know you gotta make sure that you use Ruby Cell because Ruby Cell is very good at making your skin look like white skin. Yeah. So, uh, and here we have uh, uh, someone also telling me that uh, oh, if you clear your lymph node, then you will increase your immunity. Yeah. So if you have healthy lymph node, this is actually uh, you know it's actually you know our our spray gun is very effective for clearing the lymph node, so it's good for uh, health. The point is, uh, just to summarize, guys, the four point was no trust, no need, no hurry, no money. Okay, these are the four objections. I taught you guys how to do it. I have recorded this video. So if you guys want the recording, it's going to be on YouTube. I will share it as soon as it's ready. Any more questions do you guys have? No? Uh, I was going to spend some time to get people to share with each other about um, uh, their experiences online and all that. But I think it's a bit running over. So uh, I think we will we, we will care, care uh, the YouTube channel. Okay, uh, my it's it's actually our. Let me get the link now. Okay, this is the YouTube channel. Great life group at YouTube. Yes, correct. Yes. Uh, let me share with you. So the channel, I mean, it looks like this, you know. So actually, if you if you go on YouTube, if you go on YouTube, you type Great Life Group, and then you'll be able to see our 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 channel so just click on the channel and you'll be able to see all our videos um we'll be posting all our videos there the, the, the last video there is the brand day in chinese which we did which you can which you can watch you know so if i click on it i say so we got melanie you know 
by Sharon. So anyways, it will be on this YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. Okay, so is there anything else? Oh, I like it, you know. All of you are so keen to learn. You're sticking with me for the full one hour, 20 minutes. I'm so thankful, so appreciative. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for attending the talk today, 4R. Uh, what we're going to do is the next 4R training, we're going to focus on our online activities. And next Monday, we're going to spend more time sharing with each other uh, posts. I'm going to get some people to share with, uh, how how you applied your how you applied your 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 Ruby Cell business to go online, and uh, you know I want to really I'm really looking I'm really looking forward to hear from I'm really looking forward to hear from all of you, uh, you know the success that you've had online. If you have any problems or questions about how to take things online, please ask your leader or ask me, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Make sure that you are not afraid. And remember, guys, I want to say this one more time. You are not boring. You have something to share. You are unique. And the world is missing out because they don't know who you are. So make sure you go online and show the world who you are. Okay? Till next time, okay, I will uh, see you. And uh, don't, uh, I'll share the video online. And um, I'll see you in the next in the next training. See you guys. Bye.